Well, a little bit more history is being made here at the London Motor Show. Not only have we got Cadillac and Chevrolet entering the UK market, we've got a revolution going on in the taxi trade. Tell us what's happening. We've stopped production of the fairway taxi, which we've been making since 1959, and we're replacing it by the wonderful new TX1, which is first being shown to the public at the London Motor Show. But this is, uh, I, I didn't realise you are actually halting production of that familiar, much-loved shape. I mean, that's gone. I mean, that's like stopping production of the 2CV or stopping production of the, the Volkswagen Beetle, isn't it? Well, it is indeed a <laughs> very, very popular product, mm. uh, and its beacon of light, the taxi light above the roof, makes a real haven of space, of private space in public transport, mm. which will take you away from the rain and take you to your right destination. Mm. Well, that's the background that we go to it's because of our skill in making that fairway taxi that we've been able to make a TX1 taxi. Mm. Mm. And we make it with the same sort of standards, which is a million miles of travel which people have got out of their mm. fairway. There are many fairways around that are more than 20 years old, which are doing business in the streets of London. So it's that background that has made us make the TX1 and we're making it better with more features for the passenger than the old fairway used to make. Gone are the days when you feel that you're sitting in the back of a noisy kind of almost agricultural type vehicle. I mean, this is very much a modern motor car, isn't it? Well, we spent about 20 million pounds making this, this taxi into the best taxi in the world. And there's no other country that has got a taxi system like London. It is really the best the best around. And when you have a travel, you should travel in something that is comfortable and has got lots of extra features, like a power socket on which you can recharge your portable phone or your portable computer, and a child seat, which comes down of the armrest so that you can take your child in safety. Well, it's, um, it's a unique vehicle, like all London taxis are unique vehicles. They have to conform to a series of um, requirements from the public carriage office and therefore the health and safety inspectorate and so on. Now, what they have to do is to put into a traditional shape new technology. The thing about this cab is it retains its instant recognition on the streets. If you were walking along and that cab came past you today for the first time, you'd know it was a cab and you'd know it was a traditional London cab, yet at the same time when you climb in you'd realise it's the state of the art for the new millennium. That's very important from the cab driver's point of view and of course from the passenger's point of view. It brings together all the things that we've learnt over the last 15, 20 years. Um, the automatic transmission is smooth, the turning circle of course which everybody knows about, um, air conditioning in some of the models, the safety factor in the back of the vehicle for the passenger, the accessibility for wheelchairs for example. They've increased the height of the door so the old bit about mind your head, bang, ouch, that's all gone now. So in other words, it's, what it does, it's people friendly, people recognisable, safe, efficient and the other thing is of course what people don't realise a new cab on the streets a vote of confidence in the cab trade well into the 21st century.